Hey guys, so I have not made a video in a while because I was in the hospital getting surgery and recovering and I've just been kind of just resting and healing and doing whatever I gotta do to get better. Um, so some of you were asking if I was having surgery done with Dr. Shu in Connecticut and I was and I did <laughs> and he was amazing. Um, I didn't talk about him before because I wasn't sure if I wanted to share where I was getting it done before I had it done but now that it's over I don't care. Um, so that's who I had my surgery with and like I said he was awesome and I'll go into more detail but I guess I'll just talk about like the whole surgery experience and hospital stay and all of that. So I think five days before we were about to leave for Connecticut because we had to leave on a Monday because we had appointments like pre-op appointments on Tuesday and then the surgery itself was on Wednesday morning so we were leaving on a Monday and I think five days before my mom called me because she was out at the doctor like chiropractor or whatever and she was like I have bad news but maybe it's not bad news maybe this is God and I was like oh no what and then she said that the insurance called Dr. Shu's office and said after it had told, they had told us before that it was covered, that the insurance was not going to cover the surgery. And I was crying because I was like, oh my gosh, I thought this was the answer. Like, I thought this is how I was going to be healed. But, um, at the same time, my mom and I both had peace. Like, we were so sure that's what we were, that's what the answer was. But at the same time, we had peace because we were like, if God's trying to stop this, like, we were praying, like, God, if you don't want this surgery to happen, then you can stop it whenever you need to. So we were like, okay, so maybe this is God, like, stopping it for some reason. And that was, that was like, it was such a weird feeling because I was so scared. But at the same time, I felt so much relief because I was like, maybe I won't have to go and get surgery. Like, I wanted it, but I was scared. So it was a lot of mixed feelings. Um, but I think in the end it ended up helping me personally because I was stressing out so bad, like, getting packed and everything, and I was just, like, oh, I don't want to have to go to Connecticut, so once that happened, like, the stress was lifted off of me, I was like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna go, so I just got done packing, and then up until the day we left, which was on Monday, we still didn't know if we were going, and then finally my mom called, and they were like, yes, you're covered and everything. But it kind of just helped me like up until that day because I wasn't, like I had that thought like maybe I'm not going. So it wasn't as much like stress and anxiety on me. Anyway, so um, I ended up going to my youth group on Friday that I help out at. And all the girls came up and laid hands on me and prayed. And the youth leader prayed over me and just prayed for the insurance and everything. And then a few days later, we like I said, we called and they said it was covered and then right then and there we left for Connecticut um so yeah that was crazy so then on Tuesday we had the pre-op appointments and we met with um Dr. Shu and Dr. Tamazdin I think I'm saying her name right but we met with them they're super nice awesome and Dr. Shu was like do you know what you're getting yourself into and I was like yeah but if it's gonna heal me then I'm doing it even though it's probably gonna suck for a little while so um, on Tuesday night the night before surgery I totally just broke down and freaked out and I was so scared because I just I, I didn't know what to expect like I didn't know how my body was gonna handle the medicine and um, just the surgery itself I don't heal very well because of the EDS so like I scar really easily and everything I was nervous for that, um, but my parents calmed me down and everything, and then we went on Wednesday morning to the hospital, and I went into the surgery around 11 a.m., and I don't remember anything after that, really, until, like, day three, but, um, yeah, I had the surgery. It went well. Dr. Shoes took out, took, blah, 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 took off the superficial layer of the nerve in my stomach, and cut away the ligament and did whatever he needed to do and it was successful and everything um and he said I forgot about this part he said that I have extraordinarily soft tissue so like anytime he would try to move something or cut something like I would just bleed a ton 
and he was like, for me to say that's extraordinary, it's extraordinary. I was like, oh geez. But he said there's nothing to worry about, but I was still like, oh, all right. That's good to know, I guess, that I bleed easily. Um, but that's a thing. When I came out of surgery, my I started like Snapchatting and I was like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was so loopy. My mom's like, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, yeah, of course I want to do this. Um, so I have a few Snapchat videos of me, like with the oxygen in my nose, like super loopy. Look like butt and I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, well that helps. Oh, don't. That's what they teach you in the hospital. Dad, say hi to Jacob. Hi, Jacob. And that's really all I remember until the second night. Um, it was it was like a mix of a bunch of things. It was just a really bad time because. I think I had just had two bags of fluid going into me. I was still having like the second one. And then it was like about to be the changes shifts between the nurses. So the nurses were like running around doing whatever they had to do before they were leaving. And Dr. Shu wanted my catheter out because you have a catheter after surgery, which is, I was freaking out about that, but it wasn't even a big deal. I ended up loving it because I didn't have to get up to go to the bathroom. Um. So I was like, I feel like I'm not going to be able to pee when they take it out because I was still, like, my body was still so out of it. So they took it out. After the fluid, I almost had two bags of IV fluid in me. And when you get that, you have to pee, like, a lot because your body's just trying to whatever. So uh, I couldn't pee. I was peeing, like, a tiny, tiny bit. And I ended up having so much pressure in my bladder. And that was putting pressure on my incision and my stomach that I was like screaming in pain. It was, it was not a good time to say the least. So they ended up calling Dr. Shu and they had to put the catheter back in. And then I calmed down and I fell asleep because I was exhausted after that. And everything went good until I think the day after that. Um, I was taking IV Dilaudid, like I had the IV Dilaudid going into my arm from the pain pump so I could just press the button whenever it hurt and I needed the medicine. So I had that and then they tried switching me to the pill form of Dilaudid and that gave me the worst migraine I've ever had in my life and it was, it was kind of just scary because I couldn't do anything, I couldn't move, I just stared at a wall and going in and out of sleep for like five hours. So those were really the only two like bumps in the road that we had that I had through the whole surgery. That was it, and then I was just healing. I had ice on my stomach constantly, and Dr. Shu's like criteria for leaving, I guess you could say. He had like three things you had to do or else you weren't like allowed to be discharged. You had to eat, walk, and drink, I think. Oh, and go to the bathroom on your own, which they're giving me like laxative, so I was going on my own. I was eating, you had to eat three meals a day, you had to drink like a decent amount, even though you were getting fluids. Um. The eating was weird because, like, it made me sick because I have a lot of nausea, or I had a lot of nausea before the surgery, but I guess from all the medicine and everything in your stomach trying to recover, like, I still had the nausea. But they were giving me Zofran, so I was able to eat. I never threw up, surprisingly. I was really worried about that because I hate throwing up. I never threw up, and that was a blessing in itself. So yeah, I was eating, drinking, going to the bathroom, doing what I had to do, and... I think on the, yeah, the fifth day is when I got discharged. So Dr. Shu came in, his assistant came in, like all at separate times, and the pain management doctor, Dr. Tomaston, came in. And she came in and sat on my bed and she's like, you're exceptional. And she just shook her head at me and I was like, what? And then she said, you're the only person leaving that is not taking heavy narcotics. Like you're the first patient to leave not taking heavy narcotics. And not only that, I was leaving on the fifth day when most people, like a, a few people have left on like day three, which is insane. But most people leave on day like seven to ten. So I was, the fact that I left on day five with no pain medicine except for ibuprofen, which is what I was taking, is like, what? Like, that's all God. I had so many people praying for me. And I still can't get over that. Like, that totally blows my mind that God did that.
And even um, my dad said afterwards, he was like, I wonder if that was God telling us to back off the pain medicine, like, when I had the migraine. Like, I wonder if that was him saying, like, stop, I can handle this. Like, don't take any more pain medicine. You don't need it. It was just the whole experience was, like, so crazy. And it's so weird, like, looking back because it was only three weeks ago. Like, tomorrow will be um, post-op week three. So... It's crazy. The last few days, I think, have been kind of bad because apparently when you have POTS, like week three is when your POTS starts to flare up and I feel like that's been happening because when I eat, I get tachycardia and just kind of nauseous. It's just, it's weird. Like, I didn't have that before. Like, every couple days, like, the symptoms will kind of shift and change and it's just a weird experience, like your body trying to heal. And it's like you can literally feel your stomach and your body, like, trying to figure out how to work properly again. It's like a really strange feeling. So I'll show my incision. So this is what it looks like on almost three weeks. I'm not sure how many inches it is, but all the glue came off because they put glue on it when you first come out of surgery and whatever. That took a couple weeks. So the glue is off and like there's bumps around it because of the um, tissue, like scar tissue. So you have to kind of massage it and everything. And yeah, I went back for my post-op appointments on about a week ago and everything was good he said I don't have any lifting restrictions I can work out the only thing I can't do is like swim or sit in the bathtub because it could open up again but for the most part like I'm healing really well and I'm really only taking ibuprofen like two ibuprofen ibup whatever Advil is the better way to say it um pills like once or twice a day if I need it some days I don't even need it so it's just crazy how God healed me so quickly and like I'm recovering so quickly and I don't know like my experience was not bad a lot of people throw up a lot after surgery and are just in a lot of pain like I'm not really having any problems other than feeling a little bit sick off and on so I'm so thankful for that so if any of you are having surgery with Dr. Shu um, or are recovering like I would love to talk to you if you have any questions just comment and I'll try to get back to you or I will get back to you I'm not gonna try um, I'll get back to you and we can talk about that. I do want to say though, if you're nervous for the surgery, don't be nervous. It was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was anticipating so much worse and obviously everyone's bodies are different and handle things differently so it could be worse than my experience or it could be better. Like you just never know. But all I know is that it was not anywhere near as bad as I was expecting which is so amazing and was such a relief. So yeah, I think that's everything. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, just comment and I will get back to you and we can talk about that stuff. And yeah. My stomach is making noises. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video.